Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to Texas Farmstead Living. Today's video is part two of our series, Everything You Need to Know to Buy Half or Whole Beef. On today's video, you're going to learn how to calculate yield and cost of beef. There are three very important calculations that you need to learn when buying beef. The first one is you need to know how to calculate the yield or the amount that you will be taking home. That's important because you need to make sure you have freezer space, you need to make sure that it's the correct amount for your family, and you need to make sure that it is cost effective for you. Not only do you need to know how to calculate the amount or yield of beef that you will take home, it is very important to know how to calculate the price per pound of beef that you will take home. The third important calculation that you need to learn is you need to learn how the processor is going to charge you for butchering and packaging your beef. Before you learn how to calculate yield and cost of beef, there are some terms and definitions that you need to learn. Uh, they are numbers that you will need to, to use in your calculations. So let's go over those. The first one is live weight. That is the weight of the animal when it you know leaves the ranch and before it's processed. That's pretty straightforward. The second term is hanging weight. Hanging weight is very important. Let me tell you why. Because most ranchers are going to charge you per pound of hanging weight for the price of your beef. So you definitely want to understand, you know, that calculation. Uh, also, processors typically charge per pound of hanging weight. So uh, very important to understand. So there's some factors that affect um, the hanging weight, which, which also impacts the yield, which are the breed of the animal and the age of the animal. So the third term is dressing percentage. And let me explain what that is. So we're not going to spend too much time because it is kind of complicated. But there is a percentage of live weight that you will get the hanging weight. And it, there's an industry average and today we are going to use 60%. But this dressing percentage can vary. Uh, it can go, you know, to 65%. Uh, it can go down to 50%. So just so you know that the calculation that I'm showing you today, that it can vary. And, and we're going to talk later in the video about some reasons that this number will vary. But you don't really need to spend too much time worrying about that because today we're going to use a live weight of 1,000 pounds, a 1,000 pound animal, and we're going to use a dressing percentage of 60%. So it's gonna be pretty easy. So your hanging weight is 60% of this number. So we're gonna go over that later just so you kind of understand. Okay, the fourth thing you really need to know first is you need to know the price per pound that the rancher is going to charge you. Now ranchers, you know, do several, you know, there's all kinds of situations that they use, but the most common one is charging you price per pound of hanging weight. Now, some if they were going to charge you price per pound of live weight, you know, you could get in trouble fast not understanding, you know, the terms and what they're talking about. So that's why I'm here to help you today. Um, also, some ranchers charge per head. Um, so, you know, just a flat fee. So you want to understand, you know, that, that you're getting a good, you know, value for what, and, and, the, and what you anticipate that you're going to get. So important to know. Number five is the price per pound that the processor is going to charge you. So my processor charges 95 cents per pound of hanging weight. So you want to make sure you understand so there are no surprises. Um, also, while we're at the processor discussing, um, one of the questions from uh, the first video 
is, you know, where is the processor located? But there's also another thing that, that matters to some people is you wanna ask if it's a USDA inspected facility or maybe just a state inspected facility. For my uh, beef business, we only use USDA inspected facilities because they will have a veterinarian or a meat inspector there from the time you unload your animal through the whole process. The first thing you're gonna to learn to calculate is the hanging weight because like I told you before, super important that you understand this calculation. So I am just going to try to focus on the whiteboard, uh, what we're talking about, so you don't get too confused because um, it can be overwhelming. Okay, so how to calculate the hanging weight. So how you do that is you take the live weight and you multiply it times the dressing percentage. And then you will get the hanging weight. So earlier we talked about the terms that you needed to understand. So we talked about what live weight was. So we decided for our example, we would use an 1,000 pound animal. So we're gonna take 1,000 and our dressing percentage that we talked about was going to be 60%. So we're going to multiply times 0 0.60 and that will give us 600 pounds for the hanging weight. Okay, so this number is you know, like for my beef business, this is the number that I charge my customers. I tell them each year what the price per pound of hanging weight is gonna be. And when the, um, after the animal is processed and we get our hanging weight, this is the number that I use to charge them. Okay, and this is also the number, you know, just that the processors immediately, or my processor, takes this number and multiplies it right then times you know 95 cents and that's before any extra charges which we're going to talk about later okay so now we have our hanging weight very important number okay now i'm going to show you how to calculate the amount of beef you're going to take home so once again here's this very important term that we need to uh, you know that i want you to understand it's called hanging weight so you will take your hanging weight, which in our case is 600 pounds, and you multiply it times 75%. And that will usually give you the amount of beef that you'll take home. Now remember that there is a variation, you know, in this, the amount, of, in this number, because it can go up or down, you know, it just depends, and I'm gonna, talk about that at the you know the very end of this um, some variations of why okay so we're going to take the hanging weight which is 600 and we're going to multiply it times 75 percent which is 0.75 and you get 450 pounds of beef that should be a close estimate of what you will be taking home there's also another way to calculate it and that is taking the live weight which is a thousand pounds and multiplying it times 0.45 times 45 percent and that will usually give you a close estimate of the amount of beef that you'll be taking home so the first thing that will impact the take-home amount of beef is if you choose bone-in or boneless cuts of beef also it depends on how you get your fat trimmed and another thing is how long you have the carcass aged because uh, the longer, the more shrinkage. Okay, now we're going to determine the price that you're going to pay to the rancher. Okay, so we're gonna look right here. So you want to know the hanging weight, which we already know is 600. And the rancher will tell you the price per pound of hanging weight that they're going to charge you. And that will equal the amount paid to the rancher. So we have 600 pounds as our hanging weight. And this rancher is charging $4 a pound per hanging weight. And that comes out to $2,400. So keep in mind this is a whole beef that we're calculating. If you're wondering about a half, just, you know, divide the number in half. So now we have our 
price that we pay to the rancher. So now we need to find out what, how much it's going to cost to have the animal harvested and pack the, our, our beef packaged. So we need to find out our price we're paying to our processor. Okay, to figure the price we're going to pay to the processor, um, we're going to find the hanging weight, which we already know is 600 pounds. And my processor charges 95 cents a pound per hanging weight, but you need to make sure you find that out before you buy beef. So that comes out to $570, okay? Most processors will charge a harvest fee, and mine charges 85. And if you're going to split the, um, you know, do half, they'll sometimes charge you an extra fee for you know, keeping everything, um, boxing everything separately. So, you know, just keep in mind that you ask. And of course, there's a lot of different, um, you know, custom packaging things that, that you might want, such as, um, like I like to get my hem ground beef made into ham hamburger patties, like quarter pound hamburger patties. And that, you know, costs, I think about $2.25 a pound. So there's going to be, you know, custom things. If you want to keep the hide, they're going to charge you an, an extra fee for that. So just keep that in mind, but they all have, they all have sheets and price uh, lists that they will give you before. But okay, so we're just going to say right here that we, that our process is charging us hanging weight and a harvest fee. And that comes out to $655. So now we have our, the price that the ranchers charges. We have the price that the processor has charged us. So now we are ready to find out what the cost of the beef is per pound, which is very important. Now we're ready to find out the cost per pound of our beef. Okay, we have the price that we paid to the rancher, which was over here was $2,400. And we have the price paid to the processor, which was $655. That comes out to a total of $3,055. And of course, that's for a whole beef and just divide it in half if you are only buying a half. Okay, so to find the price per pound is you would take the total cost, which is $3,055, and you're going to divide it by the yield, which is the take-home amount of beef the packaged beef that you're going to take home. So 3,055 by 450, and we got $6.79 per pound of packaged beef. Now that is very inexpensive and very cost effective. I hope this video took out some of the guesswork when you buy beef. Each year, more and more families are buying their own locally raised beef. Remember when you're buying handcrafted products, there's lots of variation, and that's the beauty of it. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss part three of this series. In part three, we're going to take you through the whole process from filling out the cut sheet to beef in your freezer. Please give our video a like and thank you so much for watching. From our Texas farm said to you, have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.